predicting whether the entropy change for a given reaction is positive or negative. Well, if you remember, delta S, that's the change in entropy. And with that little sign there, that means that STP stands at temperature and pressure. And if you don't like the word entropy, then the word disorder uh, is equally applicable. Think of disorder, think of entropy. If delta S is plus, disorder is increasing. And if delta S is minus, disorder is decreasing. And once again, disorder, that's entropy. So if I have a solid and it turns to a liquid, I'm increasing the amount of disorder there. And the liquid, if it turns to a gas, is even more disordered now, less of a regular arrangement. And so delta S for those processes is plus. Disorder entropy is increasing. Now, the gas has the highest entropy, or high entropy, relative to the others. And a solid and a liquid, well, obviously, that has low entropy. And aqueous, well, that would go about there in the pattern. So solid, liquid, aqueous, and then gas, that has the most entropy. The trick is to look for the gas. So on the first equation, I have a gas in the products, hydrogen gas there. And I've got a solid, a liquid, and I've made an aqueous. Now, gas is the one you've got to look for, so delta S is plus. The gas is very, very high entropy. The problem with the second one is that gas is everywhere. But there's four reactants and two products. So entropy is going down. Four to two gases. Less disorder. And for the third one, again, gas is everywhere, but two turning to three. Ah, so delta S is plus. Disorder has increased. Some trickier ones. Let me just draw El Diablo. These ones are a little tricky. The top one uh, was one that most people got wrong a few years ago on the IB paper. So oxygen and iron goes to, well, I'm not sure, is it iron 2 oxide? Is it iron 3 oxide? Uh, well, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be balanced because oxygen's a gas and the other two are solids. All ionic compounds are solids. So delta S is negative. I'm losing a gas. So mixing ethanol with water, well, ethanol and water are both liquids. And when you mix them together, it becomes aqueous. So delta S is plus for that one. It's getting more disordered. The two pure liquids mixing together to make a solution that has a higher level of entropy, a higher level of disorder. Delta S is plus. The decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, well, H2O2, that's a liquid, and it breaks down into water and oxygen. You need to know that for the IB. Again, look for the gas in this case. So I'm making gas. That came out wrong. So uh, delta S is plus. Entropy is increasing. And the last one's a tricky one they like to have in every other year. So two gases make two gases. So delta S is about zero there. You don't need to say if it's plus or minus. Just about zero. <laughs>